I read a book called The World Needs Your Kid by the Kielberger Brothers and Shelley Page, and it has stories in them about orphan and abandoned children who have to pick up garbage because they don't have any food to eat for dinner. Capri's always been a very energetic and enthusiastic child, and Bowen has a really exceptional way of perceiving the world around him. Uh oh. Here you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. Here you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. I thought I would be a successful parent if my children could read and write music and if they could speak another language. It's so far so good. Audio rolling whenever you're ready to read. We knew that we wanted to come up with an idea that would really be a change maker and that could hopefully inspire other families to do something similar. Then we found SOS Children's Villages, and I love the idea that the children get a parent to love them and a roof over their heads. I just loved it, and I knew I wanted to raise money for them. I thought, what's the one song that everyone in the country knows? What's the one song that unites entire countries? Something that they all can sing. I have always been a fan of national anthems. My earliest memories of school are standing up every morning with my class to sing the national anthem. I had this idea one night. I just envisioned Capri singing around the world in all these different countries. And the thought came to me around the world in 80 anthems like the book, Around the World in 80 Days, but with Capri singing with all the children. This is CBC News. We're going around the world, and I'm going to be singing each country's national anthem in the national language. And we're doing this just to raise money for SOS Children's Villages, which makes villages for orphan and abandoned children. We had a lot of people tell us that we were crazy and that there was no way we could pull this off. So I just knew that my job and Tom's job was to make sure that we safely made it to the finish line. One of the things that we knew we had to do was make the sacrifice of selling our cars and renting out our house, which is a very scary thought sometimes. But we knew that this was what we had to do in order for us to be able to leave for a year. Learning all of the anthems definitely took a lot of time. I started learning them about a year before we left, and each day I devoted at least three or four hours to studying them. The easiest anthems to learn were the anthems that were in English or French, but the other ones were especially hard in the pronunciation because I'd never heard those languages before. Mexico! Mexicano sagrito de guerra! South African. Kosisikeleli Africa. Chinese. She like we want to move it around. German. I need height and courage and freiheit. We wanted to be able to raise money and awareness, but we also wanted to spread the message so that people knew about what we were doing. I thought I could write a blog to keep track of all the places we visited and all the children we met in the different places. That way, people could follow us and see what we were doing. All right, so today we are at the Vancouver Airport, and we are flying to Ottawa through Toronto. And tomorrow, Capri, I am singing at the Parliament. We had approximately 80 countries 
worth of excuses that we could have found to not do this. It was going to be a crazy journey, but I knew that if we all played our part and we all worked together, we would be able to make it happen. I want you, the young people, to sing with me, share your pride, and make a difference together. So I'm asking every nation I visit to help me raise money for orphans and communities in need through SOS Children's Villages. I think that a really important job that Tom and I have as parents is do our best to give our children as many tools as we can to make them the best people that they can be. We're gonna be using 53 different currencies. Wow. That's a lot. That's a ton. hour flight to Auckland in New Zealand. And I have a fantastic traveling tip for you and your family if you are going to Auckland, New Zealand. For $24, you can get the Family Day Rover, which is a great name. For my anthem singing event in New Zealand, I actually sung at a Rugby Nines um, fan appreciation day. We're going to get her to sing the national anthem. Hand on heart, take off your hat, embrace this. Capri also sang at another event, which was on the Maori Heritage Day. about the New Zealand anthem is that it has a verse that's in Maori and then another verse in English. So we felt like it really respected the native people of the land. They all had these tattoos along like their faces, which was actually really cool, except everyone there was towering over me and it was kind of, kind of scary. singing event in Australia, we actually got official permission to sing on the steps of the Sydney Opera House. From Australia, we went up to our first Asian country, Japan, and it was a tremendous experience for us. We loved it, but it was really like going to a different world. I'm standing in front of a robot who answers questions for you so you can find your way inside this mall. Okay. She's pretty amazing.
In Korea, they have this problem with baby boxes. People just drop off their babies, um, especially boys. There are nine babies right now in the baby house, and they're expecting more this year. After South Korea, we flew to Fuzhou, China, and we were greeted with an absolutely wonderful reception. The director at the SOS Children's Village was called The Boss. She was a wonderful woman, very authoritative. They are very strict about their anthem. You cannot move one step. They had a whole choreographed hand routine. And once in a while, the boss would start yelling in Chinese, and then she would go up to me and move my arm about one inch. Say good morning. Good morning. So it's quarter to five, and we are leaving China. Where are we going? We're going to Taiwan. So one of the logistics challenges I knew we were going to face was I had to make sure that our kids, our family, didn't get too tired. So I really tried to plan flights that were in the middle of the day, and so we were moving at a very fast pace. And also, Capri and I had to get homeschooled. Bowen's blog was counted as his English for the year. And I did an essay where I interviewed the girls in each country, and that counted as my English as well. As we traveled through Asia, Capri got these horrific mosquito bites one night. We ended up having to go see a doctor, but it still was quite a lot of suffering for at least about a week. Yeah, for sure. So if you're traveling to Taipei and you're going to the subway, there's a few tips that you're going to want to practice. So you're not allowed to eat or chew gum or drink water, even water. Happy travels. Mula Canada, naikot na ng Pamilya Everett ang may tatlumpung bansa. Perfect. One of the things that we found about um, Manila, the Philippines, was everyone there is so happy and so family-oriented. And I think that was just, again, an amazing example of how money certainly doesn't buy happiness. if a foreigner appreciates your nation so much that they even sing your own national anthem. I want to unite the world in songs of their country and unite countries with the same song. We just wanted to give you a travel tip from Phnom Penh. 
Cambodia, the travel tip is never bring luggage when you're going on a bus. Yeah, don't bring your luggage if you can. Travel light. Showtime! Do, 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 Next, we arrived in Jakarta, Indonesia, and we were very much looking forward to our visit. Come together and sing with me. Did you learn a little bit of Indonesian while you're here? Terima kasih. Terima kasih. <laughs> so I, I was telling everybody, this is your 36th uh, right. country. Yes. How's it been so far? Well, it's been amazing to see all of these different places. Uh huh. And Tom is also here with us. He is. Okay. He's right there. Ada yes. ayahnya kembali. Hi. 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 And Safri's brother is also here. Hi. <laughs> okay. So this is about uh, charity work. Actually, this is That's about right. gathering funds to help these kids right. uh, yes. in needs, right? Yes. So uh, how, how is that done? Uh, they build villages uh, for orphaned and abandoned children in okay. 135 countries around the world. And you get to visit these places, of course, while you travel. Yes. In about 40 of the countries we're going to, uh, they have SOS Children's Villages, and at some of them, we actually stay overnight, which is cool because you okay. get to see how they live. So one of our goals on this journey was to really expose ourselves and our children to all these different cultures and see what the real life was in each country. Greetings from South Africa. It was a great pleasure to host the Everett family when they were doing 80 anthems around the world. Uh, three, two, let's go. most about the South African National Anthem is that it is in five different languages. All of them, they need me to be there for them. Some of them doesn't even want to share my love. They want me to be for them alone. Always encourage us, don't give up. One day, you'll see your father or your mother or anybody. really tough things with children around the world. I'm in the 
famous village in India. The water flow is restricted here when you're having like a bath or a shower. The water that you have showers with comes from that water tank over there. You can only have normal water from six to seven in the morning and seven to eight at night. They've been having a drought for the past 20 years, so the SOS Village has to be careful about their water use. A lot of kids our age living in Canada don't realize that there are so many people around the world who don't have access to the same opportunities that we do, and that there are so many little things that we take for granted, like having clean water or even access to education. About two weeks before we got to India, I got this email. Check me out in Mati Bani's next song. That asked if Capri was interested in participating in a Heal the World collaboration of child musicians. And so Mati Bani actually flew to Chennai and recorded Capri singing Heal the World. If you care enough. When it came out, it went completely viral, and that is how Capri was asked to speak at the largest TEDx in Asia, TEDx Gateway in Mumbai. Our first speaker is probably the perfect person to start out this event. But it's also probably true that she is the perfect person to begin any event anywhere on this planet. I love to sing more than anything. And after I was inspired by a book that talked about kids helping kids in other parts of the world, I wanted to use my voice to help too. I really love this 80 anthems thing. It just makes sense to me. You can explain it in one sentence, and then after you've explained it, you can break into song, which is what Capri does best. I'd like to thank everybody who has come and SOS Children's Villages for welcoming my family and I. And I would like to dedicate this anthem to my grandma Moriarty. Hey guys, so what are you doing this morning on this train? Schoolwork. We're trying to math. Doing math. You look really excited about that. Really excited. I know. And then I have to learn the Polish national anthem. Yes. With the help of my anthem binder, which included English translations of each anthem, I set out to learn as much as I could about each anthem. For instance, I learned that some anthems have a strong and even violent call to action, like La Marseillaise in France, that states, two armed citizens, form your battalion. We got this email asking me if I could sing um, the national anthem of Europe. And I said, I know 80 anthems, but not the European national anthem. Um, so I had to go and learn the European anthem. <laughs> I am now in the city of Prague, Czech Republic. Three more months to go. Can't believe it, you guys. Feels like we've yeah. been on the road for a while, but we yeah. have a job. We're still, we're still having fun. I'm very sore. Uh, 
so this is a really, really bad thing. Um, Carrie has gone down this slide. We're in Romania. We just got here. Um, and she has probably torn her knee. Unfortunately, part of the trip, so we're calling an ambulance. I've just told the kids uh, what's going on. Where are you guys? There you are. So we uh, think she'll be okay, but we have to go to a hospital. <laughs> Look on the bright side. You get to go to a Romanian hospital. Should be fun. So we're at the hospital, really hoping that this is uh, Carrie coming in here. We've been waiting for a while. It was really horrible because I could tell that when she was like hopping up the stairs out of the pool. That I had really injured myself. Yeah. It was one of those situations where we're either going to find a way to get this done or we're going to find an excuse not to. There we go. How do you feel, Carrie? Better. on guys we've got now only 10 more countries to go where are Ten. we going sweden. sweden and where did we come from just now denmark okay kind of a crazy couple of days we're trying to squeeze this all in so we can get to washington in time for you to sing at the washington national state ball game awesome. we're in sweden for like two hours yeah two hours yay awesome. for sweden. and Ooh. tomorrow we are going to estonia and we have a stopover in latvia and lithuania Okay, so really, we met seven months ago. Amanda sent us this wonderful email like uh, three or four weeks later, and um, we've been keeping in contact ever since. And she's planned this amazing event for Capri to sing at tomorrow night at the Gilbert and Sullivan Festival. So amazing. we are so excited to be Hi. here. Capri Everett and her family are traveling around the world to 80 countries. I knew that the Guinness head offices were in London, England and we just happened to be in London, England. We had one day there, we Googled it, we arrived, and of course, they had moved. So the Guinness World Record office has moved, so now we're going to the new the one, office. and it is 20 minutes on the tube. <laughs> 45 minutes away 45 from the other office. Like... We're here to set the record for the most amount of time spent with your children. We arrive at the front desk, and there's these two immaculately dressed women sitting there saying, do you have an appointment? And we're like, no, but you know, if you could just call them, we just need to talk to them for 30 seconds. And they're like, no, I'm sorry, we can't do that. And so we said, pick a country. So they did. And after Capri sang a few anthems, they started to get kind of interested. Oh, lovely. the new title for the anthem singing record and we are writing the guidelines. Guinness for the world record! So after a lot of work, they have confirmed the record for Capri, most national anthems sung in their host countries in one year. And that record is dedicated to every single child uh, that we met around the world. Now Iceland is country number 79. So there, after Iceland, there's one more country to go and that is I have just busted you. What do you think you're doing? It doesn't fit in my suitcase. So uh, what exactly are you trying to do? Shove it into your suitcase. Yes. Look at how much that is. How are you feeling? What are you going to do? Are you feeling say that fabulous? Yes. All right. Ready to rock and roll? National Squad is proud to welcome Capri Everett and her family 
and as they conclude their journey around the world in 80 anthems. Capri has sung 79 anthems in 41 languages over nine months to raise awareness for orphaned and abandoned children cared for by SOS Children's Villages. Please welcome the Capri as she sings her really amazing a sense of accomplishment. Um, I was also happy that I was finally singing another anthem in English, yay, that I already knew from before. So it, uh, it, was, it was nice to do that, but it was, it was just so amazing. I would say that I was amazed how many people have followed uh, what we were doing. I would get very, very teary-eyed just thinking about how proud I am of both my kids. It's, uh, it's a lifelong dream. So boy, what a long journey it has been. And Capri Everett is here to tell us all about it. Welcome back. Thank First of all, you. how does it feel to be back after it, being on the road for so long? It feels really amazing. It kind of feels weird to be <laughs> in such... It feels like we were just here, and yet when I think about it, it feels like forever. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was nine months ago, right? It was nine right? months ago. And, and you, you just capped your, your big tour, right, in Toronto? Yes, we did. We were there, um, and I sung at the Blue Jays game, and it was, it was really amazing. Well, I've got to say, my favorite event that I've gotten so far is probably weeding. I don't even know how to explain it, but I got to meet Paula Abdul, which was such an amazing experience. She had so many great things to share and also some amazing advice. My name is Capri. I just returned from an unforgettable journey around the world. I traveled to 80 countries and sang 80 different songs. Not just to any songs. I learned the national anthem in the national language of each of the countries I visited. I worked hard to understand each one and pronounce each one correctly. What I did not realize then was that I could touch people's hearts and change their lives. The girls in Laos didn't believe that they were equal to boys. With my story, I help them to see the girls can do everything that boys can. And one story truly changed my perspective forever. When I was in South Africa, I met this amazing orphan girl named Hecta. She was very smart, but she did not believe in herself. After I convinced her to sing with me, she started to think differently. On my last day with her, she told me that I had inspired her, that she now wanted to become a lawyer and help people. I will never forget the songs I sung with all of the children around the world. The memories of their voices will always remind me that we can do anything, even change the world, if we put our minds to it. Each one of you has a talent, something inside you that can touch people's hearts. Figure out what it is and use it!
comes with one step It's time to make up my mind I'm done, no more wasting time Keep my eyes set on the prize Let's get to the finish line I need to push, 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 push I need to push, 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 push I need to push, 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 push I need to push my way through to the finish line It ain't always fun and sometimes it's gonna hurt the more I get it done, the less I need to work No, it's not about who gets there first I'll be ready when they call my turn Rise